uh, ada some some problem yesterday regards to the my cancellation of the class but i i still online but for those uh, not not online yesterday that is okay okay we just uh, had a uh, uh, discussion on other method not the not the, not the subject method but um but we discuss more on on your your mood court that going to happen next week 11 and 13 okay we agree to have the 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 mood court online on on 11 of january 9 o'clock and 13 of january at 4 o'clock based on the the schedule time of the of the of the subject okay today we try to finish our our tutorial okay mm. who volunteer to present your your answer and then we discuss i think i hope that we can finish all the 14 questions by today and then if you want we have a last class for tomorrow i have time for tomorrow class but please advise me on the on the time Okay, Suzanne, any idea for for tomorrow's class? If you want, uh, daughter, I think I sh I need to confirm with them because that slot we actually have to complete our take home test for data mm -hmm. analysis. Okay, so I need but, to ask them again. But but if you think that you can, you just let me let me know. Okay. All right, no problem. Doctor, okay. by the way, uh, the time we available is from 2 to 4 p.m. if we are able to let make it. Check. Let me check my, my, my schedule for tomorrow. Okay. Um, tomorrow is uh, 7. Eh? Yes. 7 January. Eh? Okay. I'm okay. 2 to 4. Okay. Later, can I we, confirm that. Can, can can we, okay. I'm for me. I'm okay for two and four. Okay. Okay. Any volunteers? Please. Please, please, please. Doctor, can I try? Me now. Okay. Can. Should be number nine. Question number nine or number ten. Nine, nine, nine. Okay. Okay. So this is the questions, uh, which mm -hmm. is EEF is the lot to be valued. Mm -hmm. It's on the. Okay, the beard sheet one. Mm. And then GHDE, which is this part, is a DMB rent this over the land. How should ABDEF, ABCDEF be valued? Mm. Okay. okay. So this is my answer. First and foremost, the whole land, whole lot should be valued as whole as a whole according to section 1B, mm. which is when doing the compensation uh, valuation, doing a uh, value the lot as whole, even though only a quiet portion. But in this case, since okay. the lot, huh? okay. okay, since I assume that the whole lot is being acquired, yeah. so value as whole. And then, uh, TMB rentis is like a, the TMB is paying a renter to the mm. owner for them to build the TMB substation thing. Mm. And then, therefore, the, the portion of the land will have a lower market level value, but the land is still belong to the owner. Okay. Okay. Therefore, in this case, the part of GHDE, which is the, this one, mm -hmm. will have a lower, have a, lo a location on deduction mm -hmm. because of the rent, this land has lower value. Okay. Okay, so this is my example. Say the market of value of the land is 300 mm -hmm. per square feet. 
and the area of ABCDEF is 10,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And area of GHIE is 2,000 square feet. So mm -hmm. I assume that the rent this land is 25% mm -hmm. lower than okay. market value. Okay. So for the market value of ABCDEF is 300 times 10,000, which is 3 million. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, GHDE is 300. Okay, and then times the uh, one minus 75 percent, and then mm. down the square feet, and then I get this amount. Mm. The compensation will be 300, 3 million minus 450,000. Mm. So mm. it's this 2. one. 2.55. Yeah, 2.55 million. Okay, can you show back the, the, the diagram? Okay. How about EGF? What? EGF portion. EG, EGF, this part, the triangle part. Hmm. Is it the same value with the, with the 10,000 10, area? I included in it. Oh, I think, uh, yeah, hmm. together with the same value as the ABCD, yes. Yeah, how about that? Uneconomic size of the land, and then uh, actually, mm, for the, I know that after the land acquisition, the land will be cons uh, considered as one because, uh, because of the acquire all. But in terms of the before the land acquisition, the EFG area should be very low, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And then should we, should we give the same compensation as though as uh, AB, 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 AH, AHDCB? Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, in my opinion, maybe you should pay the same. Should we pay the same? Okay, let's say let's say you are you are the potential buyer. Okay. Are you going to pay are you, are you going to pay two point five five million? Two point five five million. For the whole lot, right? Yeah. I guess. Yes. Yes. I don't I guess. think I, I don't think I want to pay two point five five million. Okay. Because to me, to me, mm. to me, uh, EFG should should be discount for the because of the before the acquisition happened, actually, yes. the EFG should be very low. Okay. Should be very low, okay? okay, okay. That is the, the rationale. Okay. So in real life, also like twenty five percent lower than market. This is this is a rule of thumb. Normally, we value for the for the compensation of rentees for the compensation of rentees purpose. But the land is still owned by the landowner. We just we just only give um give twenty five percent of the market value for the compensation because the land is still owned by the by the land by the owner. Okay. 
Okay, we move to next question. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have a question. Mm. For this one, uh, because the remaining land is so small, it's uneconomic and economic in terms of size and shape. Mm. So maybe you can apply the section section 33.1, mm. like they acquire should acquire the whole part. Yeah, I think no, no issue of the acquire or so far because they acquire the whole uh, land. No, the, just just uh together with EGF la, yeah. the the GHD should acquire together with EGF. I know, I know. For this question, the government acquire the whole land, including the EGF. Oh. Because they acquire A, B, C, D, E, F is a lot to be very any acquired or whole, whole land. Right, and uh, read the, the question properly. So, uh, oh, okay. So the, the whole the whole land is being acquired, just that E, then, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Then, then it's okay. Okay. Can you see the, okay. the, the rationale behind that? Uh, you know? Uh, I, th I thought only GHED is being acquired. No, A, B, C, D, E, F, E, D. Okay. So what is the meaning like the TMB rentis over the land? That is the, the meaning. No meaning. After the acquisition, meaningless. Might be the government going to do the the development on that, but have to consider the land uh, um, on top of the land. Then, if they directly acquire the whole land, why do you what need to What's going to happen to the to the next owner? It's not none of our business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 to uh, but to, most important to us is to give the fair value. The fair value should be the area because now it's used as a rentage, must be depressed value. And then so, so, and also for the EFG, because of the, the area is the separated for the main area because of the rentage, and then at the same time, also the size is not economical for any demand. Just because that's, that's why we really lower for that particular year and then we pass all together and then come up with the total condition. But if they take the whole land, like they didn't uh what when they acquire the land it's not being cut off. So why do we need to give 20%, 25% the work? You say they acquire the whole land, right? Yes, because in reality before the acquisition the land the land value is low and okay. Because of the rentish. Oh, or already have the rentish, then they acquire the whole land. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm okay. mistaken already. Okay. okay. Thank you. Then then we stop. Mm. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Doctor, okay. can you clarify on the rentish rule of thumb? Is it twenty five percent of the market value, or adjust twenty five percent lower than the market value? Mm, okay, rule of thumb for, okay, sometimes the government also ask the valuer to, uh, to value rent this land for the purpose of rent this land. But normal, what we, we, we normally do, we give 25% of the market value of the land for rent this. But okay, you must you must uh, understand the seventy five percent. The seventy five percent is still owned by the by the landowner, but you already given twenty five percent. That's why I agree with the Ming Yao Ming Yao uh, suggestion to give them twenty five percent lower because he only lost the twenty five percent. Still, he. The land owner still kept the seventy-five percent. Can you follow? 
sorry, I don't understand the seventy five percent. Twenty five percent, twenty percent already given. The time of the rentis, at the time of the rentis, imposed to the land oh, okay. for the compensation, and then when we going to pay back the for the land acquisition later on, we only can give seventy five percent because we now take over the whole land you are no more have an ownership to the to the to the rentist area okay uh, you know that you hilang 25 percent and then, then you should have dapat 25 percent in advance before why should i pay you again otherwise double counting um uh, uh, but hmm. so, uh, but okay, macam macam ni lah, Your your belanja sekolah is ten ringgit per day, but your father bagi you lima belas ringgit on the on the Monday, meaning that you already given twenty dua ringgit setengah, dua ringgit setengah, uh, lima ringgit for the next day already in advance. And then the tomorrow, should I give, should your father give you five ringgit or give you ten ringgit? Five ringgit. Five ringgit because you already taken five ringgit in advance, isn't it? This is the, the same the same principle apply here. Yeah. Paham. Uh, but in the real life, since uh twenty five percent is given for the rentist, uh, so the owner will actually get like uh only fifty percent of the value of the rentist area because at first, the, uh, when the TMB acquire the land for the rentist, they will pay twenty five percent, and then the mm. land acquisition uh the value of the land is also twenty five percent, so the owner actually only get 50% of the value of the land. Dalam sini yang apa Ming Hao Ming Hao eh Ming Yao I pun Ming Yao Ming Yao punya punya example here bukan dia bagi 25% dia bagi drop of 25% 1 minus 25% ni nampak tak situ? Ah nampak. Ah bukan dia bagi 25% dia bagi 75%. Okay. Paham. Actually, I'm uh, asking another question. It's like, for example, hmm. in real life, uh, at first the land uh, acquired by the TMB for the rentis, for hmm. example, they give only 25% of the market value of the land. Hmm. And then when the government come and acquire the land, they also hmm. give 25% of the value of the land. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Tak boleh macam tu. You depressed too much for the land. Not fair. Kalau you just give twenty five percent of the market value again, meaning that the 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 land owner only only enjoy ten fifty percent of the market value. Even the market value is different over the time. Betul tak? Yeah. So the no. during the acquisition. The government should pay for seventy five percent of the mm. market value. Mm. That is a fair. Ataupun you bagi lebih lagi lagi kata lagi kata bagi eighty percent ke, then should be okay, but not not lower than than should be. should be. But you you need to know the history of the the rentis. So you have to research to do the research. What actually the government already had uh, the government paid to the land owner for the rentis? Okay, thank you, doctor. Thirty-five percent only rule of thumb. It can be thirty, can be, can be, can be other than 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 uh, the, for the percentage. Okay, okay. Move to question ten. Uh, doctor, I got one question. The TMB paying the rentis is lump sum. Yeah. Okay. 
it's not on the monthly. No such thing of monthly payment. Okay. But the NB uh, will issue a letter of undertaking to take care about the 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 underneath to cut all the trees, the all that you know, rumput, sama sama semua dek dek. You take all that under all under rent is more clear and then to hmm. that is uh, under the the NB punya punya responsibility. Even the quick rent also paid by the by the the NB for the portion, not the for the whole land. Quick rent, bukan quiet rent, bukan quick rent of the portion. Quick lah betul lah, you aja tu. Tadi you tulis quiet. Okay. Doctor, so for this one yeah. is like got three different price lah. For the biggest land is normal market value, then got the rent is minus twenty five percent. Then for the smallest one, how many percent? Based on your knowledge of the valuation, lah. That's why I don't. Oh, know. oh. Based on your, huh? Then based on your judgment. What we be but, low, low but I I'm interested that when I assess your your work. When I mark your your word later on, I only see the rational, the principle apply. The principle must be drop. That how much you drop, then you if you say forty percent, you just justify why forty percent. Like but the principle must be right. Oh. If the principle is not right, I I I put a big cross there. Even though you your your percentage of drop is a is a reasonable, but if the you you against the principle that is that to me is wrong. Okay, then, then normally for some an economic one, you will be uh will it be lower value than the rentist one? It should be should be to me to me to me based on my experience should be slightly higher. Still higher lah. Okay. But lower than the 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 market value, normal market value. Okay. Sure. Thank you. In between. Okay. 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 Who volunteer for the next question? Please volunteer lah. Yang dos yang belum lagi lagi present anything. Nah. Because this is about this is discussion. It's not about the fine fault. Ranikan diri, be prepared, and then, uh, then you 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 show your work. Uh, Doctor, I think can I present for number ten? Okay, yes, then. Uh, Doctor, can you see my screen? Yes, clear. Number ten, okay. So number ten, there are sub questions under the main question. Yeah, yeah there are some F and yeah, two mm -hmm. F. So number one, number uh, question A is on and occupied occupied by the landlord. So mm -hmm. uh, the building is lawful and legal. So the owner of the land will be compensated for the building. Mm -hmm. But the building, since it is a temporary building, so the building. Conversation will be the cost of removal and re erection. Cost of removal and re erection because of temporary building. Okay, removal, remove to where? Uh, to tear down the building because the land is acquired. Mm. To, to which land? Not remove to which land? Um, remove means you not, not pindah to ke, ke on other land, then? Ataupun nak 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 letak di mana? Uh, in my answer, I write removal. Maksudnya to demolish the building, to remove the building. Remove the building and re-election. You cakap re-election. Re-election, maybe ah uh, for Bina. the new building, they want to re-erect. Kalau dia minta re-erection of the the uh, new building meaning that he, he owned a very old building. Now mm. your reaction on the new building would have over overvalued. Uh, 
Uh, doctor, can you repeat? I don't really understand. Okay. Once you demolish the building, yeah, and then you are not using the same material to re erect, isn't it? You're going to construct new on the mm -hmm. other land of the owner's choice. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. You, what you remove, what on the land is the old building. Let's say the old building only works for 20K. To erect a new building on the on, honest uh, location, honest choice location, you need 40,000. Meaning you are already paid more than, than, than they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be the owner only uh, can give the compensation of the 20K, not 40K. Also meaning the cost of removal should not be given up because if give to them, they will be double counting already. Yeah, because to me, okay. just pay the, the, the value of the building and then it's up to the landowner whether they want to remove or they want to just destroy or they want to burn the, the building, it's up to them. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. The owner of the land is being compensated for the building. The the owner compensated. Okay. What is the question of the can you see the question? Again, number eight. Okay. On a piece of land being being acquired, there are many there are numbers of temporary buildings owned and occupied by, by the landlord. Meaning that you have to compensate land and building because owned and occupied by the landlord. Uh, because the question asks how this building be valued. So the, 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 the question, question. This one. Oh, uh, how should uh, this yeah. temporarily be valued? Okay, okay. Only the building. Yeah, we have to pay the building. Uh. Okay. okay, you know we, between the permanent building, semi-permanent and temporary building, temporary building, the what is a permanent building? What is semi-permanent building? What is a temporary building? Uh Ruma Tinggi Adala temporary building. Ruma Tinggi. Ruma Tinggi. Rumah kaki tinggi Orang tak panggil building ada kaki. kaki tinggi. Rumah kaki tinggi. I terus proses dari Chinese. I used to look down Malay Bank traditional house yang boleh pinta pinta untuk program flat dunia. I rasa tu temporary building lah. Structure building adalah macam yang ada foundation concrete punya. Ah, uh, permanent building and then semi permanent. Uh, maybe the structures, squatters and then as well as the the accommodation like the in, inside the container due on the construction site for the uh, the workers what they want is hmm. temporary. To me, lah. like temporary can move. Ah, yeah, itu, itu panggil cabin kan? Bukan uh, building kan? <laughs> oh, apa tu? Cabin juga. <laughs> okay. Okay. Temporary building, actually, the building that can, maksudnya you can, if you want to remove it, you can remove the whole set. Meaning that, macam di guan kata rumah kaki tinggi tu lah, macam rumah Melayu yang bertiang tinggi, ya. ha? tiang kan, dia panggil kolam, ha? with a high kolam, and then tem temporary building also can be, uh, and then semi permanent building is a building with a um, with a structures, with a semi structure, meaning half 
half of the building is a is a brick brick and brick and timber lah brick and timber together okay, is a the base is a is a brick brick wall and a lantai cement all that semua and then permanent building is a totally brick from from floor to 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 roof that is permanent building you can you cannot remove you know you can destroy you can be demolished okay that is the meaning of that in this case they got the temporary building meaning that the thing the building that can be removed to other place for the whole set from from the floor until the until the roof until the roof okay a should be answer should be like that uh, should be pay the 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 owner the whole the the cost of the building yeah uh, dip kita pakai and uh, depreciated replacement cost yeah? kita kata bagi dia okay. bagi depreciated value lah kalau rumah itu already 10 years atau 20 years then you give a depreciation reasonable depreciation okay the second one question ni apa owned by landlord but let to tenants ah uh, but uh, the tenant is no tenancy agreement mm -hmm. okay so the, uh, so the landlord same right they should be compensated with the value of building based on the depreciated replace, replacement mm -hmm. cost tapi for tenant they should not be compensated because they are tenancy at will and without tenancy agreement and they are not person interested as stated in the inquisition act section 2 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the third one? Uh, the third one is on and occupied by the tenants. Mm. So uh, if the building is built and occupied lawfully by the tenants with the permission of the landlord, mm. and then the tenant in your building will also be compensated based on mm. depreciated replacement costs. Mm. Then you pay the, based on your answer, you will get cost of removal and cost of re -erection. <laughs> because no, no. this one is the front part, I uh, uh, I made a mistake here, yeah. so I will do correction for this. Okay, that's okay. right. Correct. D? The owned by the ground tenants and occupied by other tenants. Uh. So the also stated no tenancy agreement and based on verbal agreements. Uh. And therefore only the ground tenants will be compensated. How do you know no, no agreement? Stated already. In cases B, D, and F, there are no tenancy agreement. The tenant are based on the verbal agreement made by the Okay, so, okay. Because of no agreement, then what, what should be compensated? Only ground tenant will be compensated. But the. the, the, the uh, sorry, Rota? Okay, the other tenant occupy the building will not be compensated. Huh? Since they are tenant that will be that tenant in me, which is not not person interested, they will be not be compensated. Okay, only give what actually the ground tenants mean. I think this question I also have made some mistakes because the ground tenant uh is the original tenant, they rent the house from the landlord. And then if according to the question uh, stated no tenancy agreement, so also the ground tenant will be not uh, will not be compensated. Uh, the compensation will only goes to the landlord. Okay. But the building the building is uh built by the ground tenant. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay, what is uh, tell me first, what is the ground tenant's name? Ground tenant, is it the tenant that leased the land from the landlord mm. and then they build house on the land mm. and, uh, and rent the building to other tenants? Mm. 
Okay, should we ground tenants um, be compensated? No, just because of the. But if the, according to this question, I'm not sure yeah, whether. No, no tenancy agreement. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then should be both cannot be compensated. compensated. Okay. Owned and occupied by the squatters? Uh, squatters are considered as trespassers, so the mm -hmm. building occupied and built by them are illegal. Therefore, mm -hmm. no compensation at all should be awarded. Mm, okay, nanti bila you kerja, nanti bila you jumpa benda-benda macam ni kan, you must ingat this question eh. Okay. Uh, okay, because you will face a lot of the squatters, the ground tenant, the tenant at will, that's more. Yeah. Only the first one can be compensated, is it because owned and occupied by your landlord? By, by the landlord. Okay, next move to question 11. The left out one, uh, still got F. Question owned F. by the squatters and let the tenant and even worse. Uh, so, also cannot be. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Doctor, hmm. I have a question. So just now we need to use depreciated uh what uh depreciated replacement cost, right? Hmm. So uh the cost of removal and the re and what uh re erection when we use that? Then? Okay, I ask you, do you not remove the the building to which side? Uh, don't, don't know lah, but don't know. But Maybe how about erection? That of your business, whether they whether the land owner want to use that the building or not. Okay, so if they like, if they just want to remove lah, they want to move to other place. So we just give cost of removal enough already lah. No, it's wrong. You must give the. The, the building value whether he want to remove or not to not to remove or want to re-erect or not want to re-erect is his business not your business you just pay whatever you should pay oh okay so mm -hmm. we just pay the depreciated replacement value yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah? Okay, okay. Okay. okay okay next Question uh, 11, anyone to try? Can you hear me? Yeah, big one. Uh, actually, according to the question just now, I have one question uh, because like uh, this, I think this happened on most area like, like people tend to read out their commercial area, uh, commercial law, maybe the mm. second, second uh, the level two, maybe they mm. were read out to the people like mm. other, other bekerja, bekerja, maybe like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Actually, maybe that one is not permissible, right? Like commercial because cannot be rent mm. out to other people for residential. But mm. maybe in the case of the rent, the tenant do not actually know about the lawful rights about mm. it. Can the tenant be compensated if the shop lot is being acquired? Yeah, the tenant cannot be compensated if the tenant status is a tenant at will, meaning that month to month. It's not, you don't have a proper agreement with them. If you have the proper agreement with them, then can can be compensated. That is the, the, the theory. And the address also say so, like that. You cannot simply pay without any attachment. You must, person interested, you must be very clear with the person, who are the person interested must be must be tenant with the agreement it's not tenant at will tenant at will sometimes is a only verbal agreement uh tapi mungkin kanan kala kerana biasa tenancy agreement boleh uh, uh, di stamp duty dekat itu land authority yeah. of this kind tapi sekiranya uh, mereka ada agreement tapi mereka tak ada puas stamp duty tapi macam uh, condition yang macam I terangkan, uh, mm. then is run out to the tenant. Mm. 
but then sign an agreement with the owner mm. and then he actually actually do not know about the lawful mm. condition but he cannot actually rent a mm. commercial lot to stay in there okay in this case can no. Ignorance of the law does not mean that you are above the law. Okay, okay. Liba, faham? You tak tahu, you tak tahu bahawa mesti pakai mask, kan? Tiba-tiba you ditangkap tak pakai mask, then you say to the policeman, you cannot summon me because I don't know. Okay, good, uh, good example. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Eh? Ignorance okay. of the law that does not mean you are above the law. Itu saja dia punya statement. Hmm? You need to know, you need to be busy body. Hmm? Clear? Okay. Clear, okay. okay. I got one oh. question. Okay, Ming Yao. Okay, just now the question temporary building. What we assume is mm. rumah Melayu, right? Uh, the mm. rumah kaki tinggi, okay? Mm. But, rumah kaki tinggi ni, Ligwan <laughs> saja. Yeah, it's a wrong terminology. Okay. No rumah such thing, yang... rumah kaki tinggi. Rumah berkembang <laughs> tinggi. Correct. Mm. Uh, rumah kaki tinggi. So uh. even in like uh, exam or whatever, we write, do we just write Malay traditional house? Or... The, okay, Malay traditional house also can be done rumah berkembang tinggi. Hmm. Okay. Rumah rumah berkaki tinggi no such thing sebab rumah tak pernah pakai kasut. Hmm. Okay. So my question is because hmm. when I see the word temporary building, what came into my mind is the temporary structure that built by the uh, owner or squatter or tenant. Uh, like you know, sometimes in the residential area in the taman taman, they hmm. got built a temporary structure to park their car that one also can be a temporary rebuilding as well that one it also can be compensated because it is not permanently attached to the land that yeah. is temporary yeah i know but ah. I, I, my question is that is this kind of building can be compensated can if owned by the landowner but without it, any plan that submitted to the local authority uh, uh, they just construct themselves the temporary building if the landlord, the landlord say that they can um, can build that, that kind of structure on the land, then you have to compensate unless it's uh, illegal. Okay. Meaning that they, they come up with a temporary building and then use it as an industry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, but the, the, the land use is a residential. As long as the use of the temporary building does not contradict to related, the related to the use of the main in the whatever cited in the in the, the title, you should pay. Okay. Even though you, you need to pay only fifty ringgit, still money what? <laughs> okay, understood. Huh? Okay. Okay. Next, eleven. Uh, doctor, I would like to try for number 11. Okay, the call here. okay. Yes, again. please. <clears throat> okay, so this is number 11. Number 11 say that uh, Rectangular lot with 1.5 hectare la, fronting mm. a road space to the close to a village. So actually, and on this date, 2019, uh, 10 over 150 share of the property is being transacted at 150k per hectare, which means this is a transaction of the undivided share. It's mm. not a whole land up, just between yeah. the shareholder mm. and the shareholder. Mm. Okay, so this things is happened is lawfully and legally right so nothing need to question about this transaction okay yes. and then what happened on the next year in 2020 a part of the land approximately of 0 0.15 hectare which is uh which is 10 percent of the whole lot, of whole lot. Mm -hmm. okay. so for acquisition then the area included a portion so previously which is by the by this portion then over mm. 450 share. So the evidence of value show 
that a land with 101.5 hectare fetch lower value, which is 130k per hectare. But land with smaller hectare, which is smaller in size, fetch higher value. And then he said, advice mm -hmm. on how valuation should be carried out. So my my assuming, okay, for the east for discussion, I have assumed the share portion is owned by mm -hmm. Armin, the person here, mm -hmm. the 10 over 151. Mm -hmm. So he for 115k for the transaction. Mm -hmm. Actually, after I calculate the based on this market price. Okay. Okay. So my answer based on this question. First, mm -hmm. I will I will say that once cannot say or declare which portion of the land belong to him in accordance with the individual share he has on the land, unless the portion of the land uh, has been clearly stated in the layout of the mm -hmm. title mm -hmm. or expertly stated in a form of agreement mm -hmm. to be this question. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but for the sake of discussion. Okay, uh, Ridwan, tanya satu yeah. soalan. Huh? Amin itu kaki tinggi ke kaki rendah? Dia satu tinggi, satu rendah. Okay, okay. not stable lah. Uh, not stable. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for the sake of discussion, we do variation on two view. Lah. Okay. Like, one is according to what the question say, which is mm -hmm. portion acquired included, include mm -hmm. the Amin portion. So, which mm. Amin is fully acquired his portion already. Mm. And then, second basis is only share, only lost the share portion of the acquired portion. So, return some portion after that. So, so mm. far, this is my two view, like for mm. this question for the relation mm. discussion. Mm. So, in first view, because Amin no longer post his land anymore. So, mm. uh, he will not be compensated for the IA and severance plan, but they actually mm. only compensate at the market value. So mm. if you look back here, he said that land of approximately of this land fetch this value. Uh, mm. To me, because when we talk about land acquisition, we only measure, we, we have to measure the market value of the scheduled lands, which means I will not take into consideration of the second uh, market value here. Mm. To me, la, I will not take this. La. I okay. will take the first one. Okay. So I will use 130k, multiple 1.5 hectare, mm. which is a whole portion, and multiple the Amin share, mm. indicating it's being fully acquired, mm. which Amin can get 13k for mm. his compensation. Mm. This is my first view. Mm. And then come to second view. Arming will also compensate at 130k per acre uh, per hectare as well. Actually. Mm. Mm. And then okay. with then is come mm. with compensation. Second view. Ah, uh, come with compensation of IA as well as the serverless claim. Mm. Okay, so because the compensation second of second view is based on the portion of the acquired portion. Mm -hmm. So 130k will multiply multiplier 0 0.15 arming portion mm -hmm. uh, at the very beginning in the question already stated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then as well as the arming sh arming share. Okay. Hey, not arming portion. This is the this is the acquired portion. Sorry, sorry. Acquired portion. 0 0.5 is acquired portion. Okay. 0 0.15 is acquired portion. Mm -hmm. And this is arming mm. share on the whole land. Uh, so that constitute arming to be compensated for 1.3k only for the mm. land. Okay. And then uh, talking about the uh, insurance sufficient and severance claim, because the question is lack of sufficient uh, info, mm. Mm. then I will just say at 20%. So 20% of the acquired portion, which is two, uh, 260. So in second view, Amin will be acquired. Uh, Amin will be compensated on one thousand five hundred sixty only. Okay, which one good for Amin? Which one good for Amin? Uh, definitely is the first one. First view. Yes. Okay, your first view is it? Your calculation is correct. One hundred thirty k times one point five hectares proportion. 
time 10 over 150 then you dapat 13k is it true Korek kan, bukan? Saya sudah tekan banyak lama kaki itu. Hundred, okay. Yes, correct. Correct. Tiga belas k. Tiga belas k sahaja. Kenapa? Kenapa? You acquire portion is only zero point one five. Yeah. Kenapa you bagi 1.5 hectares? No, uh, because the the if we if I convert Armin portion into hectare of the land, it actually only holds for for one hect one only post one zero point one. Mm. If not mistaken, yeah. Mm. Zero point one hectare only actually. Mm. Yeah. So so that's why I so this is why I. I uh, I really, really don't understand your view between first view and second view. So great difference. Mm. Mm. Because the question only, same. Uh, only ten percent of the of the uh, for the second view. Only ten percent of the first view. Yeah. Uh, because the question already in say that the portion. The area in the area acquire include the portion mm. so previously, mm. but then if uh if in in reality I don't think that no one can declare which portion belong to terms unless it's expressly stated. So, because but then for the, the problem of the share portion is uh, uh the share transfer is we don't know which part of the land is that portion belong to that portion can be. Can be uh, ten over hundred and fifty is uh, on the corner, on the right corner. Might be the right corner. Might they? Might be in the middle. Might be the uh, might be the below, below right or left right. Yes. Below, hmm. Because the the question here, if doctor can, uh, can uh, 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 you say that a part of land approximately zero point one five hectare. Which mm. is ten percent of the volume was gathered for acquisition. That area includes the portion so previously. Uh, so I I said I wish me like okay we it. we don't know which part. Yes. We don't know which part here, but we but including that that portion that portion yes, including of this portion. Okay. Yeah. We need this sentence. Uh, um, meaning that anywhere anywhere that the the government will to acquire will affect that portion because you don't know where, where to to locate that portion yeah karena ini karena soalan ini tak bagi spesifik mah so i, so, I just soalan ini memang tak ada bagi you spesifik because my question always i don't give you the spesifik i want you to think hmm. Hmm? okay you know that the idea. let's say you, you you put a piece of paper Okay, you own the piece of paper too. You, I say that you own one of one over fifteen chairs on the okay. Can you show me where is your question? If no expert is stated, of course I do know. Even though in the reality also you don't know because if you only mention in the title that you own one over fifteen uh, ownership. Or the land, you cannot be take where is your 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 area. Am yeah, I right. Yes, yes. Only you know that I own one over fifteen of the whole land. Can uh, be yes. can be the right corner, can be the the, the top right, can be top uh, top uh, left, maybe the bottom right and bottom left. Can be in the middle. Can be any 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 place in the in, on on the land. Meaning uh, that, of course, of course, the question is uh, is not wrong. Of course, including the portion that can transfer because you know. Okay, the question the question here try to trigger you whether you're going to use the hundred. 
150 per hectare or 150,000 per hectare or you get to use 130,000 per hectare. 150 or 150? Okay, okay. Based on law, it should uh, be 130,000. It must be land, isn't it? Because yes. uh, that is the one of the this this question one view to you know because no such thing of the first view, second view, first view and second view, and then your first view and your second view totally very great difference. Hmm. Cannot be. Hmm. Huh? How come we went to Kalau I apply your second view, I only consider ten percent of the, your first view. Oh, or just because of you said that I mean, yang first view is kaki panjang, yang the the second view is a kaki pendek. Then to be get a lower conversation. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The principle that for this question is how whether you want to choose should be. Based on law, you should use 130 because of the, the value of the whole land. Then after that, you try to figure out whether you need to consider the special features of the land under the section number two, one, number you have to ingat, you boleh cari dalam law, dalam act, kan? Mm. You must consider the special features of the land, kan? Maybe you can assume the special fish, uh, the your your one over fifteen shares. So that is a, the you can locate it at the special features. You just say like that. It can it can be done because sometimes you say oh, they already the uh, among the landowners, the co-owners, they already mark make a demarcation where where is your your part. And one is a different way. Um, illegal uh, partitioning or illegal submission. Yes. And one also can be considered. Lah. They say they can show that my part only this part. Uh, that one. But based on the legal, no one can tell where is the, their share is. Okay. Mm. okay. This is the what the, the question one. Uh, and then you would consider the special part issue of the issue of the severance you can come up as an answer if you you say clearly that the equation the acquisition severe the land if no severance then should be no no severance claim or in general evasion also you must have a, some assumption that what it is the injury caused by the by the land acquisition, whether the owner loss of loss of the of the assets something like that is in there. The one with the later part, you can, you you must make assumption assumption. Okay. What actually the question one? So, doctor, in this case, we ignore the previous transaction that. Uh, Part of the share was sold for 150 per hectare. Okay, good question. The good question. You cannot ignore if uh, the the transaction happened within under the law. Also, yes. that whatever if your compensation we, when you apply the the principle that I mentioned, you 130k, and then you found that. The value, the compensation is lower than had been paid on the 22019. You must use under the case law of the Erbunlian. You cannot pay lower than what the what the actually the um, the cost that for the landowner to acquire to actually acquire the land before. It is Erbunlian. E R B O N L I A N case. Abunyana, yes. Principles.
you you cannot pay lower that is the principle says that you cannot pay any lower than the cost of cost to purchase or cost to to acquire the land Uh, but doctor, I have one more question on mm. Min Yao's question just now. Because mm. actually I got found one more court case saying that uh, the transaction of undivided share, like in mm. this question, is not suitable because cannot reflect the whole land value. Mm. And then in this uh, situation, should we still consider the amount according to a Bunyan principle? I think the Bunyan principle is a apply to for for the sake of justice let's say i have to i have to purchase the land uh, because i'm i'm in, um i'm ignorance in a market i purchase the land for <clears throat> 2 million but the market value of the land is only 1.5 million and then the government later on the government acquire my land should i be compensated to million or 1.5 million based on market value? Me, Susan, answer me. Uh, I think 1.5. 1.5 meaning that you already, already deny my effort to get the value because to, to purchase the land before because I pay, but I pay actually genuinely 2 million. But when you come to the land acquisition, when you 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 determine the market value of the land only 1.5 million that's why a bunyan overrule the 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 valuation because of the if you found that the transaction is bona fide you must pay back what actually what actually the cost for the land owner to and on you know, to get the land before Okay, understood, doctor. Thank you. Okay, meaning that even though the market value is lower, but you must, but in this case, you must pay. The, but you must prove that the transaction before is a genuine one. It's not the markup one. You know, sometimes people just markup. Hmm? Okay. 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 Thank you, doctor. Okay. You you still got time to discuss uh, question number 12 for all? Do you have any class after this? Uh, actually, no. Actually, according to the timetable, our class is until 6 p.m. Hmm? Oh, our class is until 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, okay. Let's uh, minta pula Ikhwan, you share to, to everyone your, your answer for question 12. Don't say that you not buat your answer. Uh, Dr. Doctor, doctor, interrupt a bit. Ah. Uh, the previous question, right? The, mm. Even though the transaction only just for the undivided shares, I still mm. need to use the transaction, right? Because it's within two years. Yes. And then the question also said that the sale is bona fide. So I need to use 150k per acre, per hectare. Use mean doesn't mean that Apply. you decide. Okay. You must use, you must under your list of comparison. Oh, oh so the it will become one of my comparable. Yeah, cannot you cannot deny. You cannot ah, disregard okay. it. You know, doesn't mean that the the kata mesti regards you know, to to consider means you must you must use. You must mesti okay. bind uh, bind to 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 make your decision based on that. It's not that. <laughs> Understand. Ah. Huh? Okay. 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 Yeah. Ah, jawab ya punya soalan 12. Okay. Jangan cakap you tak ada jawapan sebab benda ini sepatutnya dah semua orang biri. Jadi
the time I call the name should be shared with everyone. But I don't know where the message is correct. So yeah. I don't ask for the correct answer. I just want you to share. All right, can you see my screen? Cannot. Okay, no can. All right. So the question is the principle laid down in the case E.R. Boon Yan and Ors versus the collector of land revenue for this 1955 was that the purchase price of the property being acquired should form the basis of the compensation awarded provided the price paid was a bona fide one. So okay. the question okay. is, does this rule apply when there is evidence of sales to prove that the price paid was over and above the market value amounting to speculation on the part of the owner? So I say yes, because according to first mm -hmm. schedule of land acquisition act, the market value of the subject land should be the basis of the compensation work. This includes mm. a consideration of the value of a neighboring land, as well as the category and use of the subject land. However, the evidence of the previous sale of the land is the safest guide. In the, in the absence of such evidence, then the evidence from the sale of similar land in the neighborhood can be considered. The safest guide to determine the fair market value is the evidence of sales of the same or similar land in the neighborhood after making allowance for all the circumstances. Okay, ini you want me to have the judge punya statement kan dalam case tu? Yeah. Okay. So, Does this rule apply when there is evidence at the MUA tu of Sale to prove that the price was paid over and above the market value and mounting to speculation and the part of it, you kata masih juga pakai. Yeah. Walaupun you are the proof that the price paid is a speculation price. Mm. Yeah. Hmm? You yeah. tahu tak macam ni, kalau kalau saya ada tanah, three, three lenonel lah, kalau I jadi I nak nipu dalam peng, dalam pengambilan tanah. I dah dengar ada section 4 dah hari. Oh tu dah tahu di mana. Oh, tetapi tak tahu the exact lot number. Tak tahu dah tak ada list lagi. Tak ada schedule ni tak ada lagi. Then I come up one agreement, false agreement. Then I kata, I nak jual tanah ni dengan satu juta, satu ekar. But the market price masa itu dekat situ hanya ada mungkin tujuh ratus ribu sekar sajalah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just put up one and stamp the agreement, sale and purchase agreement that I can. And then tiba-tiba betul-betul tanah I terlibat dengan pengambilan tanah. Inilah case yang A ni. Should I should you pay me one thousand one million per acre, or you pay me seven hundred thousand per acre? Only the the I pay the no, then I fight you that this is a genuine genuine sale. You think at the sale agreement everything I pay ten percent maybe to my friend, okay? Tapi that there is a the move, misalnya, is only the move plan uh, sale and purchase agreement SNP. You as a value, dalam case A ni macam tu lah dia punya, punya analogi. You have to pay 700,000 per acre or 1 million per acre, if I. It's a totally speculation. I tak miniat pun nak jual, tapi I pakat dengan my, my friend. I bayar 10% itu pun, dia tak ada betul-betul bayar in the monetary form, if I set, tak ada. Tapi stated in the agreement, I pay ten, um, you pay me ten, ten, ten percent of the deposit. Batu tanah tu dia ambil. Dia kata kita tak sempat lagi nak buat transaction dan you you ambil tanah I. Then the value should be like this lah. Hmm. 
Paham tak senario? Halo Ikhwan. Ya, ya faham. Okey, yang lain cuba beri ya ya input. I assume this one is malafide already ya. Malafide already. Hmm. Because under the perbunian principle, you boleh pakai kalau the transaction is bona fide. Hmm? Kalau mala cannot. Hmm? Looks like that one is a mala fide, unless you cannot prove that that one is a speculation. Tapi dalam soalan A ini kata, say to Prove that the price paid was over and above the market value. Hmm, question dia dah kontrol dah dekat situ kan, Ikhwan? Hmm. Okay. Your answer should be no lah kan? No. Huh? Okay. Walaupun statement yang you pakai ni semuanya betul. Tapi must be, must be the malafi day. Uh, must be malafi day one lah. Dalam case ini is a malawan. Malafi day. Okay, B. Right, so B. B minta minta Shira. Okay, Shira, Shira. Pakai je Yuni tak ya Shay. Dia dia setuju tak dengan jawapan Yuni? Saya nak tanya dia. Okay. Hello Shira. Hello. Hello. Okay. You still in a relationship kan? That's why I ask you. Hmm? Tak ada. Ha? Tak ada? Tak ada, tak ada. Tak ada, Ikhwan, tak ada. Okay, tak ada. Okay, I assume that ada, okay? But the question is assuming, okay? Shira? Okay, B. Uh, assume the sale was bona fide one registered three years before date of acquisition. Is interest and holding cost for three years to be added to the price to arrive at the compensation table. So, equal answer is according to for schedule land acquisition, land acquisition aid section 2E, a claimant seeking compensation for the extinguishment of his business conducted under required land must establish that the extinguishment is due to the compensation. In this case, relocation is in fact. Impracticable, no compensation is to be determined for claim of interest. But instead, the claim is to be considered based on the instinguishment basis. The loss of business goodwill is contained with the market value of the land. The claim does not therefore form the basis of an item of consequential loss. Referred to court case Semenya Jaya versus Petak Betana Langat. Okay. Are you agree? Dia kata, actually, Ikhwan bersetuju ke tak bayar ni tak, ataupun tak bayar. Dia tak kata pun dia setuju kata. Ataupun dia kata dia bagi statement daripada Semenya Jaya. Syira, <laughs> now you have to sentence your your BF. Answer. Syira? Um, tak setuju. Tak setuju. Dia maknanya Ikhwan salah lah. Ikhwan, are you say yes or no for the B? Based on your statement. Mm, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Syirah, you tak setuju kenapa? I tak setuju sebab land uh, LA land administrator hmm. dia said dia satisfied that this is bona fide hmm. this is bona fide uh, owner intended hmm hmm so ni wait 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 let me rephrase let me rephrase Okay, rephrase. Ikhwan kata yes. Now you kata no. Okay. Uh, this acquisition, uh, acquisition 
will continue to be devoted to the purpose of social nature because no general demand or market for that purpose. So in mm. assessing, so there's an, the assessment shall be made on the basis of reasonable cost to the proprietor. Okay, ni you refer daripada case apa pula tu? Section 2C. Okay. Okay, section 2C re, relate dengan question ni ke? Hai dan. Hai dan. Hai. Salam my boy. Tak tahu. Hmm. Okey. Yang lain try. Uh, in my point, mm. in my opinion, my okay. answer is yes, because yes. the transaction is bona fide. Then, uh, anything bona fide, then you should pay. Uh, this is about the cost of holding though. Yes, the holding okay, cost. The data version is an interest and holding cost. Interest too, yeah, bank loan, they all that small thing. Holding cost for three years to be added. Mm. Um, holding cost, which means that the transaction is made three years before, and then they hold the land first until the mm. true transaction occur. Is it? Mm. Mm. Before the date of acquisition. Law kata apa, case kata apa, then Case apa? Okay, siapa lagi nak try? Please. Okay. Afik, what is your answer? I said no good. Yeah, no, your reason. Because uh, it's, it mentioned before the date of the acquisition. Mm. So I think the bona fide purchaser did uh, record the transaction properly here. Yeah. Yeah, lah, okay. Okay, you small answer. You can buy the land land acquisition. You can buy the triangle of the adequate compensation. Do you know triangle? Do you know under the law? Valuation theory and also the court case. Kan tiga tu baru make up the answer. All answer must follow the 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 the, the, the triangle. What is really the land acquisition act mentioned requires, and what is really the theory of the valuation or under the the valuation punya 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 understanding, and then also the court case to support kalau ada ni dalam kes ni you you tak tak guna lagi tiga 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 fakta tu to answer no afik kalau kalau dalam jawapan jawapan ikhwan ni at least dia dah pakai 
dua daripada tiga tu should be okay lah cara dia menjawab tu dia dah pakai tiga tiga benda but you sebab ikhmah ikhwan kata yes uh-huh. hmm tapi dia guna dia 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 petik section yang salah ha walaupun dia try bukan tu tapi kalau petik eh. dia nak ambil buah apple tak ambil buah limau sepatutnya tak jadi jawapan jadi bila dia bila dia makan dia rasa masam ha? <laughs> dia akan buruk eh Afiq Ya Zatah Ya lah You takkan nak jawab macam tu je Kalau you jawab macam tu no je Kalau lim, kalau dekat ini bagi you sepuluh maka I bagi satu je sebab you kata you no Saja sembilan lagi hilang Ya pun tak pasti kata tak, You ada jawapan you dah share with us Macam mana you buat Atau pun tak buat apa so Be honest Ha? Huh? Be honest You ada buat jawapan you ke tak ada? Buat contoh ni kita orang buat sama-sama Then you buat sama-sama dengan siapa? Dengan kawan-kawan lain lah Siapa kawan you? Geng-geng Ni lah yang kau buat ni Ada nama Oh ini Cantik. yang Ikhwan jawab ni sama ada Tapi kenapa you tak bersuju dengan Ikhwan? Ikhwan jawab yes, you jawab no Sebab Kata you buat sama-sama Tak sebab Kita orang bahagi part buat ABC uh, ni 1, 2, 3 tu Okay you punya bahagian apa? A, B, C Eh tak saya dah lepas lah Bahagian saya dah lepas lah Bahagian A? Bukan bukan nombor nombor lain bukan nombor ni Oh nombor yang dah dah bincang ke atau belum? Dah 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 bincang lah Dah dah bincang, ok Ok now Jadi Katalah Kalau you buat cara macam tu Semua orang tak menjawab pada semua benda Keluarlah soalan yang ini keluar ni Bukan your spot question lah Kantai lah you Ha Abik? Ha? Sebab ini you tak buat You, you, you maksudnya oh, kalau zaman I belajar tu kita orang spot question ke apa ke semua kalau keluar tak kalau keluar I dapat uh, dapat lottery kalau tak keluar I can't do ya itu lah ke ah lebih kurang lebih kurang ni yeah. kalau soalan ni keluar you memang ready to get zero lah saya saya redo ni redo bagus redo Okey, siapa yang tak reda? Please. Takkanlah ada panggil nama. Hmm. Okey, Saliza. Saliza ya, Saliza. Yes, doctor. Yes. What your view? Oh, you want to share your answer. Uh, I also got the same answer with Ikuan. Hmm. The same answer. Yes. Then meaning that you answer yes. Okay. But the problem of Ikuan, he already pick the wrong section. Are you? Are you refer to the the same section of uh, like Anna uh, Ikuan, Kaliza? Hello, siapa share dengan saya ni? Ha, share pun. Okay. Saliza, are you pick the same session to E, A? To E, to E actually, first kali. Hello. Anyone else have the uh, the answer no, but you pick the 
the right section. Uh, doctor, can I try again? Okay, okay. Uh, now my answer, I think, got the valuation principle and the act, but don't have got case. Okay, okay, never, okay, never mind. Okay, so this, the question stated is three years before the date of acquisition. Uh, In this case, my answer is no. Oh. According to Section 1A of first schedule of Net Acquisition Act, 1960, mm -hmm. the previous transaction that shall be taken into consideration is within two years mm. from the time stated in the mm. Yeah, okay. okay. And the transaction is three years before the date of acquisition. In this case, mm. it does not fit the uh, the section 1A already. Okay. Other than that, the transaction date uh, is three years before may not indicate the recent transaction. So therefore, mm. I think it's not suitable to be used. Mm. Okay, how about the, the, this one? Uh, only that one. Eh? Okay, how about yes. the, any to upkeep of the, the property in two years time? To maintain the property in two years time? Uh, the, the, you refer to another section? The, the act allow that to for you to upkeep or to maintain the property, whatever the cost la, the maintenance within the two years before the acquisition, isn't it? Hmm? Where the part that, that session again? Ah, uh, I'm 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 still finding. <laughs> mm. Uh, section. Uh. Some more contents of section of uh, first schedule two must be fingertips. Easy for you to help you in the examination. But the examination you open book, yeah, but the report, the Okay, okay. Uh, section 3F. Uh. Mm. Any outlay on additional improvement to the land acquired which was incurred after the date of publication of the declaration under Section 8, unless such additions or improvement were necessary for the maintenance of any building in mm. a proper state of repair, mm. and unless in the case mm. of agriculture, is there is any money which has been expended mm. for the continuing cultivation mm. of crops or yield. Mm. Okay. Oh, so need to apply section 3. Um, mm. But apply section 3F, which means that yes, right? Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you need to decide. Okay. Because you need to, because I already explained what is the decision meant for, what is the decision meant for. Uh, now, when I give you the, the, the problem, then you have to decide. Oh. The answer can be yes, can be no, can? Yes. Question. Don't have a very definite answer. It's based on the circumstances. Uh, now we decide this issue. Okay. Okay. And then you can either C B A B and C for this question. Other T. Okay, kita tak sempat nak buat C itu aja sih pas ada ada ni. Kita start uh, finish off by tomorrow. Lepas tu, I ada satu satu one question lagi to share with you for the. Uh, previous uh, uh, previous uh, examination punya question yang kita boleh discuss kali sikit for tomorrow. Is it okay? Okay. Then I hope that for the tomorrow punya session, uh, question 13, uh, 12C, 13 and 14 will be, uh, no, will be okay, presented by the other student not involved in for the presentation today please Anna, i kalau yang dos yang so i pick you you your name lepas tu you you tak ready then i cannot i cannot tolerate anymore okay